Live from Uvalde, Texas, the crossroads of Texas and America. Texas country at the crossroads with Robert Miguel. The best new country from the Lone Star State. That's right. We are live at the crossroads of America, Uvalde, Texas, Broadway, 830, 100 East Main Street, downtown Uvalde. It's actually a very, it's a beautiful day, man. A little warm, but there's a nice breeze and we're outside here in the patio and there's shade out here, man. The, the, the big ass fan even on, ain't even on yet, man. We can always turn that on. Oh, yeah, it's really working right now. But we are excited because uh, we always feature the rising stars of Texas country or sometimes just Texas music. And we have got a treat tonight for the first time ever from Hondo, Texas, our neighbors just to the north is from us, uh, Mr. Jordan Gauna. Y'all make some noise, everybody. Jordan, get up with the mic, man. And uh, so, um,. It's good to have you here, man. And yeah, before we get into, I, I know that you did a, a really fabulous benefit, uh, organized a benefit yeah, uh, last right. week to benefit the um, the families affected by the terrible tragedy here a couple of weeks ago. But before we get into that, man, let's focus on you, uh, the musician, the rising star, right. or whatnot. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. so first of all, thank you so much for being here uh, in downtown Uvalde. Have you ever performed in Uvalde before? Uh, yeah, I've been out here at Lunkers a couple times. Okay. We did a toy drive back in December. Okay. Uh, Over at the car tenders? Yeah, or yeah, the, yeah, 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 we were there. We did that toy drive. Uh, and like, did you do that with Wolverine and those guys? Was it the? No, I did it with Steven. Steven, Steven, Steven Garcia. Garcia. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know Steve. Yeah, yeah. So you know that this that yeah, really hit home yeah. for those guys. So, yeah. Uh, so Steve, you, your whole family is in our thoughts and prayers, man. Absolutely. I mean, so obviously you have a real connection to the tragedy that happened yeah, here. So. Absolutely. So anyway, no, no, not to derail. We'll get we'll get into that soon enough. But uh, so you've been you've done a few gigs out here, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've, I've started out here in uh, Lunkers. I guess last year, uh, maybe around this time, we did about three or four shows out there. Uh, we had good turnouts, and then we came over here, and I slowly started my, making my way to San Antonio now, so I'm out there in that scene a lot more now. So now you are based out of Hondo, right? Yes, okay. Yes. So where, I guess, so how long have you been playing, performing? Man, honestly, as long as I can remember. Um, when I was when I graduated high school, I started doing it a little bit, and then I stopped, and I just went to work. Uh, and it was just on and off. I'd play little uh, wedding venues, birthday parties, stuff like that. And then I guess last year, about April, I started hitting it real hard consistently. And so this past April will be a year that I was doing it consistently, and I was uh, gigging every week, three or four times a week. So that's about the, about the time we started kind of uh, coming out of the pandemic. Yeah, so um, it was really good. It was really good. I mean, everybody was looking for musicians, bands, everybody right, was trying right. to get back on the road. We've talked about that many times here on these live shows that we do with various artists that, you know, what, what happened during the pandemic is it really, really hurt the larger bands, the big acts yeah. that had a, a tour, a, a, a rig, and a crew yeah. because nobody could do those shows. But but small, intimate, you know, patio oh, yeah. shows, um, sports bar shows kind of kept going. Oh, yeah. So it was a good time to kind of make that. Yeah, it was a that. good time, man. It was a... Uh... We always had something booked, I feel like. So, yeah. I mean, it slowed down a little bit, but not too much. Like I said, everybody was ready to get the ball rolling again, and uh, everybody just picked up where they left off, it seemed like. Now, did you start off with the intention of doing original music, or was was it just, hey, man, playing songs for your friends, yeah. cover songs? And, and if so, how did that evolve into original stuff? So, so it actually, whenever I first started, uh, I was doing acoustic shows for a while, and then I was like, man, I should get a band together, and we ended up getting a band together. Um, I got Matt Weissel from right here in Uvalde. He's yeah. on the drums. Uh, Joe Viasano. He's like the go-to drummer for like Southwest Texas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, it's yeah awesome. he's, so he's with us. Shout out to Matt he's and Caitlin. Matt. We love yeah, you guys. He's right here at the Opera House, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Right up the road, yeah. And then we got Joe up in Sabinal. And I got a... Uh, I'm actually looking for a guitar player right now. Uh, my guitar player, Cole Dale, just moved to Lubbock, Texas. So uh, we're looking to fill his spot. But it turned out, uh, whenever I first started, I was real, like... I just want to enjoy this. I want it to be cover music. I, it's because I like to do it. Yeah. And I still do. I love it, you know. But and now I'm at the point where, man, I want to do my original songs. And so I'm working on putting out my first single right now. Uh, it's called Maybe I Should, hoping to have it out this summer. Very good, man. So how much how much uh, original material do you have at this point? Not much. Yeah. Honestly, not much. Uh, like I said, I'm working on my first one. And I probably got about four or five songs in the works other than that. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Man. So so is the overall plan to get a single? Are you going to push it to radio or just gonna, are you going to throw it out there on, like, gonna, you know, streaming and just kind of yeah, see what happens? I'm going to throw it out there on streaming and see what it does. Um, just kind of go with the flow. Like I said, at first I wanted this to be more of a cover band thing, but now I'm at the point where I want to put my own music out there. And so... Just kind of ride the wave as long as I can, you know. So now, before we get into you know the direction of your original music, first of all, let's talk about the covers and how you started off. Um, what is 
the type of music you started as far as the covers go, uh, and what kind of shows were you putting on before you started incorporating original stuff? So it was a lot of, uh, it was really a lot of mainstream country, and mm-hmm. it's weird now, because now I'm like, oh, I don't like mainstream country, you know and, uh, I mean? Red Dirt, and, yeah, and Red Outlaw Dirt, stuff. Yeah, Texas and, yeah. country, that kind of stuff. So I listen to a lot of Tyler Childers, Cole Wetzel, Parker, uh, I grew up on a lot of cross-Canadian ragweed, like that kind of stuff. So what made you make the shift? Because I, I guess when you say mainstream, you're probably doing, you know, John Party covers and Darius oh, Rucker and all yeah, yeah, kind of the same exactly. old stuff, right? right. That dance hall music, yes, right? Absolutely. Um, what, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the people love those songs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but there is a certain, like a Nickelback stigma to it yeah. as well, too. Is it? Is right. that just your desire to kind of be yeah, fresh? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I actually, once I started getting out of Hondo a little more and getting out of this area, I uh, started hanging out with a lot of different people, and I saw them had they had their music out, and I'm like, man, you know, I got I've had this song for about a year and a half now. I was like, I think it's good enough to go and record it, so that's the plan there now. Just kind of keep going with it. So as far as the songwriting goes, um, what what is a, a relatively new songwriter, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I mean, I mean, cause, I consider myself a very new songwriter. So, yeah. so what was how was it inspired? Is it by the, the current music you were listening to uh, at the time, yeah. or is it just kind of a, a long like back? Because you know, you know, they say you know you have your whole your, your whole life to write your first album, right, yeah. and then a year to write your second one, right? Yeah. So, is this stuff that's kind of been in the back of your mind forever, or was it just fresh yeah, stuff? I feel like I feel like it was like that. Uh, a lot of the writing took place. Uh, I feel like it, it was years where it came to. I kind of wrote this song, and um, I guess, hmm, let me see what I'm trying to say here before I, before I just say it. No, no, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. so, I need to do that more often yeah, here, too. Yeah. I get myself in trouble all right, the time. All right, so <laughs> we, we started writing this song, and I actually co-wrote this song with a buddy of mine from Cash Reels named Dylan Mata, and I had this chorus, and it was, well, maybe I should stop while I'm ahead. And he was like, man, he's like, let's finish that song, and... So we got to it, and he helped, he really helped me out a lot. Dylan Mata is a great songwriter. Man. I mean, he's coming up on one of our Friday Night Live shows oh, here yeah. pretty soon. Yeah, oh, so man, that's a great Saturday songwriter. Him, yeah. a good friend of mine. Very good cool. Friend of mine. So, so uh, co-writing there, and then, um, again, is it like certain artists that you cited a couple of artists earlier? Yeah. Was that pretty much the, the influence? Or is it maybe yeah. some of the 90s or 2000s? Oh, yeah. uh, of course, the 90s and 2000s had a big impact on the way I write, and my sound and stuff like that. Now, now you're a Latino, yes, you know. Yeah. So, and you're in Southwest Texas. Oh, yeah. Are there any other flavors mixed in oh, there too? Man. So, so, so my, let's talk about that stuff. Yeah. My favorite type of music to listen to and to drink to is like conjunto music. There you, you go. Know? Okay. So I'm a big <laughs> fan of that. I, I like rock and roll. Rap. I like all kinds of music, you know. So I take into consideration all that whenever I'm writing music, and uh, I really take pride in where I come from and my family, and uh, you know. So um, I'm not afraid to. Uh, put all, all, all my genres out there. You know, and it's interesting you say that because there's this new there's this new genre, I guess, evolving here very recently uh, for, when it comes to, like, Giovanni and the Hired Guns oh, yeah. and, like, Jelly Roll and, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, ones that are they're definitely pulling yeah. from rock and roll, yeah. from punk, from, from Latino a little bit. Yeah. It's, a, it's a little of everything right now. Yeah. I like and I think that um, you're you're part of the generation that's been raised on Pandora and Spotify, oh, yeah. to where you weren't just listening to one radio station all your life, right. one type of genre. You're kind of mixing it up, right. right? Yeah, absolutely. So it comes through in the music, I'm sure. Yeah, and it, it's awesome, man. We actually had a chance to hang out with Giovanni uh, probably like two months ago. Uh, he was out at 151 Saloon wow. in San Antonio, and he came and watched the, uh, the show. And uh, we hung out and we talked, man. He's cool, man. And I can he, see you guys just, gigging together. Yeah, man. And he's yeah. just like what, like somebody like us, man. He's a normal person. It's cool. It's crazy to see, like, uh, he's on a big stage at, like, Floors and all these other places, yeah. but you come and hang out with him, he's just uh, messing around like the rest of us, man. That is so cool, man. Yeah. Well, we're all real people somewhere yeah. in there, right? Oh, yeah, so, absolutely. All right, again, we got Jordan Gauna here. He's in from Hondo, performing live here in Uvalde tonight. Uh, the place to be is Broadway, 830-100 East Main Street, downtown Uvalde, right here in the heart of the square, man. Uh, it's going to be a, a great evening with uh, cold craft beer and delicious artists and pizza. They've got pastas and other good stuff, too. Oh, the wings are spectacular. So shout out to Broadway and their uh, fantastic menu and their crew, man. Great people here to take good care of you. Uh, Jordan's playing from 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, I'm going to give him a chance to, let's go ahead and do a song live. Yeah, absolutely. And if you don't mind, give me one of your early ones. I know you don't have a whole lot, absolutely. but... But one of your earlier ones, you know, maybe that was whenever you were young and green, and then maybe we'll get you to play uh, something newer off your catalog uh, a little later. But um, we'll we'll do a song here, and then we'll talk about the benefit you put together. So y'all hang out. I'm sure it's going to be a touching and fabulous story, especially if you've got a heart for Uvalde. So again, live here at Broadway 3 on Uvalde Radio. Mr. Mr. Jordan Ghana. Make some noise, guys. Come on. Here it goes. (laughs) 
So this is actually a song I wrote for uh, one of my buddies, man. We always uh, drink way too much and never get in trouble, but this this one particular buddy always gets in trouble somehow. So this song's called Damn Good Night. Some trouble tonight. Probably go and drink too much. It happens every time. I don't know what I'll do, but I know it. Live on the Valley Radio.net. Damn good night. It's going to be a damn good yeah, night here yeah, at Broadway sure. 30. Again, 100 East Main Street, downtown New Valley. If you're here locally, come on out here to downtown and enjoy some live music with Jordan. Man, fantastic. Hey, thank you so awesome, much. Awesome, man. awesome. Thank it sounds great live. Thank I you. can't wait to hear you through the through the uh, PA, oh, man. Yeah, man. You're in for a treat, man. You're in for a treat if you haven't been to the Jordan Gallagher. Right? I, I am excited. <laughs> I've heard many great things about you, so I'm, I'm excited to, to, for you to make your debut awesome, here. Man. Uh, awesome. So. Let's, I want to I wanted to go ahead and talk about the uh, tribute you guys did, the, or the, the benefit, rather. Um, but before we get into that, because, I mean, your voice, man, your plan, uh, I really enjoy that. Let's talk about this recording that you're getting ready to release okay. first. Absolutely. So um, how did you engineer, record, uh, how did you put it together? So this is actually, it's all very new to me. This is uh, the first song I've ever recorded, and I've had the chance to hang out with a bunch of my buddies, uh, Nate DeLeon and Vinny Tovar, uh, Landry Scott Ritter. Uh, whenever they were re recording their stuff. So I got to learn a lot of stuff along the way. And so I've actually gone to two different studios and uh, I'm just really uh, consistent. Uh, in, it's in my head that I'm not gonna put out something I don't like. Mm -hmm. So I'm really like taking my time with this real single right here, my first one. And uh, I'm actually decided to go with one of my buddies, Mr. Levi Miller in San Antonio. Uh, he's played guitar with me a couple times and he recorded uh, for JJ and the 45s. Okay. I don't know if you know them, they're out of yeah. San Marcos, Texas. And uh, so we're recording with him right now, man, and it's, uh, we're just getting things rolling. We're probably about two weeks in, and like I said, hope to have that out by this summer. Now, is it going to be you and your band? Are you going to get yes. studio musicians? Any, oh, yeah. any any hired guns, or is it just yeah. you, you and people you know? Uh, probably the only hired gun is probably Levi, honestly. Wow. He'll be on lead guitar, but other than that, we're, we're going to stick with Joe and Matt. So how do you expect the, I, I guess, the overall sound? Is it going to be pretty raw, similar to what you're kind of just doing the guitar, or are you, are you going to be a, uh, really be a full make production it a, and kind of a... Yeah, I want to make it a full production. I want to make it real dancehall. I, I like 
as much as cheesy as those songs are sometimes. Right, right, right. Uh, like you said, everybody loves those songs. And I just want to write songs people can dance to and people can feel to, you know? You know, <laughs> and you're right, man, because, I mean, sometimes I want to hate Kane Brown so bad. <laughs> and it's hard. But you that can. new song yeah. you just put out, man, exactly. that How, How I yeah. Country Music, man, I'm just like, dude, I'm sorry, man. Kane, that's a badass song, man. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way around it. Yeah, man. So, I hear you, man. So, so yeah, I mean, and, and I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's fantastic that you appreciate the, the coming, the future, Absolutely. you know what I mean, the, the more edgy... Uh, Red Dirt and uh, and Outlaw, but also can still kind of have that um, mainstream sensibility, Absolutely. you know, to just to respect the, the hits, you know, because yeah. Nashville, man, they crank out some good stuff. Yeah, dude, know, it's so. crazy. It's it's a whole different type of music over there, and it's so. Let's go and talk about that that whole Texas versus Nashville kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, if somebody, because eventually, man, you're going to blow up. You're going to be big. You're going to be doing interviews, you know, all over the country, or maybe not the world. And people are going to be like, "What are you? Are right. you going to say?" Texas country, you can say Red oh, Dirt. Yeah. What, 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 how do you classify uh, Jordan Ghana? Definitely Texas country, man. Yeah. I, I think there's a difference there, and I don't think it's much of a difference. I just think it's a little more, uh, more of a raw sound, like mm-hmm. you said, and I think that makes the difference between country and Texas country. And um, I feel like that country that gets played on Nashville, I hope it, nobody takes it the wrong way. It's yeah. a little, it's a little uh, kind of. Poppy country. Yeah, it's got drum machines, man. Yeah, come on, know, and, come on. Which is cool, like you said. Like right. you, can't, you can't hate on people like that because yeah. they're putting out great songs and they're making money. It's got its <laughs> place. Yeah. It's got its place. Yeah. But, but but if you've got a hard for your music and, and Texas, then Absolutely. it makes sense that you'd want something a little bit more, a little bit more edge, a little more yeah. more nitty gritty, so to speak. Well, very cool. Again, we got Jordan Gauna here. Uh, I'm gonna get him to play one more song before we uh, wrap this up today. We're doing our Texas Country at the Crossroads interview series. We do it every Friday night live here at Broadway 830. Uh, next week, I said uh, Nick Zamora, I think yeah. that's what I said. And then week after that, we got Billy Joe. So check out our full calendar at UvaldiRadio.net. And while you're there, find the uh, tab where you can listen to past uh, interviews. If you're listening live right now and you just joined us, well, you know what? Later this evening, you can go to UvaldiRadio.net, stream the entire uh, interview and live performance. Uh, on in podcast form, so that's going to be happening very soon too. All right, so let's go and talk about man this benefit concert that you got you helped organize. Yes. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, did I not hear, did I hear twenty nine thousand yeah, dollars? And we actually uh, so it was twenty nine that we announced the benefit, uh, and we had uh, donations coming in still. So. When we came to the bank on Wednesday and turned in that deposit, it actually turned out to be thirty thousand. Thirty thousand dollars, man. So look, give give me uh, give me the details, man. How did you yeah, get this together? So uh, of course, man, we, we just kind of felt helpless after after everything that happened, you know. And so we just wanted to do something. And uh, like I said, I hang out with a bunch of musicians in San Antonio. Uh, Nate and Vinny, for example, I called them and I said, man, we should really do something. And they were like, well, let us know. And we'll we'll kind of do it. And I feel like it was like. Everything just happened so fast, so it started building up on me, and I called a good friend of mine, uh, Ruby Cantu, and uh, she's a producer, so or she's a line producer, so she really helped me organize everything, and we called all the musicians, and thankfully they all said yes, uh, and we linked up with Chuck Hurd from Chorus in Castroville, and uh, he made the call to Rick Trevino. Rick Trevino was our headliner. Wow. Uh, and he said yes, without a doubt. He answered in about five minutes, and he said, yeah, whatever I could do to help. Uh, and everyone was just... Uh, Without the skip of a beat, man, they all were willing to help. And we had a bunch of vendors. We had uh, Dunride Cookers, Hondo Junior Owls. We had sweets out there, uh, Deep Nutrition, had nutrition drinks. Now, where did this all go down? This was at uh, Venetia Excursions, the Grand okay. Pavilion in Hondo. It's right off of 90. Okay. It's, uh, I want to say it's a dove hunt kind of place. Okay. Um, but they do. that's a great venue, beautiful venue. Um, we were, ha- were hoping to have it at the city park in Hondo. And... Just unfortunately, there was a bunch of stuff that uh, we couldn't meet, so we moved locations. We actually moved locations middle of the week, about Thursday. Wow. Yeah, and so we turned it all around. Thank God for the internet, though, man. Word spreads fast, right? Absolutely. So thankfully to Ventura Excursions, man, they took us and they helped us as much as they could, and everything rolled great. Nobody needs that city of Hondo red tape, man. Nobody needs that red tape. I know it. I know it. I believe it. But yeah, man, it turned out to be a great event. Well, we give me a rundown of, of the, I guess, the artists that participated that you can okay. remember at least. Uh, so we started all day, man. We had Thomas Jones, uh, Gavin Story, uh, Justin Gallegos, Celestio Acozer, uh, Nate DeLeon, Vinny Tovar, Tristan Frederick, uh, myself. Uh, the Solis Brothers were out there. Robert Garza was out there. Hey, shout out to Solis Brothers. We got their brand new song on the air right now on oh, yeah, radio.net in rotation. So oh, those are good check friends that out. of mine. Man. Yeah, they're good guys. Really good. I went to I went to Catholic school with them. Oh, really? We went to the Catholic school in Castroville together. Yeah. 
So we grew up together, and it's cool. It's cool to see the way we're all growing in our music now. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. So it was. It was great, man. We had raffle prizes that were donated. We had about seventy raffle prizes. Um, we had uh, sold a whole bunch of tickets, barbecue plates, a whole bunch of stuff, man. So I just, I can't thank everybody enough. We've been thanking everybody all week, but now here's another chance for me to tell everyone, thank you for everyone that came out and supported. And uh, we just want to let you Valdi know that uh, you don't have to go far to have somebody to talk to or let them know that. Well, man, the, I think I can speak for you Valdi community in saying just thank you so much. We're so grateful, so gracious, so I mean, just elated that you guys, that our neighbors, you know, yeah. would do something like that. I can you let me know exactly? Is there a fund that that went to? Yes. Or did you guys just drop off uh, some money at? A, yeah. So we put it in the Rob Memorial Fund right here, First Day Bank. First Day Bank. Okay, very yeah. Good. So we came over here on Wednesday and we made that deposit and. Uh, we, we really wanted to make sure that we announced, just because whenever it comes to money, get a little Transparency sketchy. is the key, it, Yeah, so for we, sure. we made sure we announced yeah. at the event, and then we made sure we posted our deposit, which was more than we announced at the event, so that was good. Um, we just didn't want anybody to think we were doing anything sketchy, you know? No, absolutely, man. And, you know, and I hate to say this, but there is a dark underbelly in times like this yeah. that happens, and vultures do kind of yeah, swarm absolutely. around. So thank you for your, like I said, transparency, yeah. and uh, it, it's best we're. Yvonne Radio Radio.net is doing our official um, benefit concert this coming Sunday in Hondo, in actually, Hondo. Oh, okay, at okay. the Graff Ranch yeah. with a lot of great artists, including Bree Bagwell and Kinfo and September Moon, artists from all over the, all over the uh, Texas country music scene. But, uh, I mean, I might have to pick your brain about how to really kind of make sure because oh, I'm sure you learned a whole lot oh man. yeah this is my first event that yeah. I put together man and I learned a whole bunch I was stressed all week man but I was, it was great to see it all come together and uh, was, I was really glad to help anyway. and you know what and this is um, putting together a concert you know is not easy work but putting it together in, in short notice with so many working parts and for a cause that's going to that could possibly receive some sort of scrutiny that's a lot of pressure man so i want you to know personally and and the community that we do not take that for granted we know that it's, it's a it's a, a lot of time effort energy and again pressure and pressure is stressful man you know so yeah, so thank I you very agree. much i'm like i might have to pick your brain about some ideas I, i'm interested to know what was the i guess how was the vibe? How were spirits for something like this? So it was something we were we were worried about because right. of course it, it's tragedy. You want to be respectful, but maybe exactly, have a good time and celebrate. Exactly. You know. And um, we didn't want everybody to be out there and be sad. We right. Want, we wanted to kind of it would be more uplifting. We wanted it sure. to be uplifting. So the vibes were great out there. Good. Good. Honestly, man, and everybody was there, and everybody came together for one reason. They, everybody put their differences aside, uh, dropped their egos, and we were all there for one reason. We were there to. Help out a surrounding community. I love it, man. You Valdi strong and our neighbors Hondo strong. Absolutely. Texas strong. Very absolutely. good. Again, we're here with Jordan Ghana. We're running late. Let's go and do one more song then yeah, live. That's cool. So he's gonna pick up his guitar again. If you like what you're hearing, even if you don't, come on and have a beer with Jordan. He's a cool guy. Uh, come out to Broadway, 830, 100 East Main Street, downtown Uvalde. Uh, we're gonna have a good time from 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, pizza, beer, and live music. I'll let you take it away, sir. Awesome. So this is a song I'm recording right now, man. It's called Maybe I Should. Hope to have this out by this summer. Played in every little bar in this run downtown If it wasn't for them I'd be hell bound We'd like to go to the river, go downtown I played in every little bar in this run downtown So we moved to the city Follow my dream. It took some years, but now I'm in between. We're going to work or going to sing. When I moved in a city to follow my dream, maybe I should stop while I. Stay in this town 
Nice, all right. Jordan Ghana live here at Broadway 830, 100 East Main Street, downtown Uvalde. Friday Night Live getting ready to kick off. Jordan's going to do more of that here uh, live and in person, some originals and some cover songs. Man. Yes, so absolutely. You, give us a wet our appetite. Tell us what, what kind of covers you're going to oh, be man, we got everything, there. man. We got everything from about 90s country, 80s country. We got some Tom Petty. We got some uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. We got a whole bunch of stuff, man. We'll kick it R&B. Whatever you want to hear, man. I'm Come excited out. to hear some original <laughs> stuff, man. That is good. That's a hit waiting to happen, oh, man. Thank you so, so much. So I want to be one of the first people to get that when that when that's done oh, yeah. and get it on the air Absolutely. and do, do what we can to Absolutely. support you. All right, a truly a rising <laughs> star, man, with a great heart. So I feel really honored to have met you and talked to you today, yeah, man. Thank so you for having me. Th- man. And thank I'm you for coming really out to Uvalde, man, Absolutely. and being a part of our community. Uh, thanks again for the for the major benefit that you've uh, helped out for our community as well, yes. too. And it's going to be a great show. Hey, bro, before we wrap it up and do the, the shameless plugs, who's your handsome gentleman back there? I mean, you came, uh, in, you came in with a crew member. Who you got back there? This is the, one of the best roadies we got, right? Uh, right. He's from down the road in Carrizo. Uh, his name Carrizo! Carrizo, Carrizo right, in the house. <laughs> he looks like a Carrizo yeah. kid. <laughs> that dirty white shirt. <laughs> yeah, the cowboy hat. <laughs> exactly. It's nice, nice. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good buddy of mine, man. He's been with us. Uh, probably, What's his name again? Adrian Avila. Adrian, all right. Yeah, he's good. been with us since uh, probably we started about a year ago, a year and a half ago. And he's, he started uh, coming to every show with us, man, so it's been great to have him around. You know an artist is a big deal or going to be a huge deal when they come in with a crew? Yeah. <laughs> Some dude that just kind of makes sure he gets his beer in his hand and, and oh, the gear him. set up. So very cool, I'm man. I'm never empty. I'm never empty. It's now, uh, go ahead, Jordan, go and tell us uh, best place to find you online, music, website, all that good stuff. Yeah, so you can find me on all social medias on Facebook, Jordan Gauna. Uh, my Instagram is just backwards, Gauna.Jordan. Uh, I don't really get on Twitter that much anymore, but if you do, you can who see, does? Yeah, you can get on my is name. It still there? Yeah, <laughs> but Facebook and Instagram is where you get me mostly. Uh, I think my numbers are posted on both. You of ain't mine. no TikToker yet? No, I mean I am every now and then. Right, right, I right. feel like dancing every now and then. You know? <laughs> We're good. <laughs> but yeah, man, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, all your conjunto stuff is in oh, TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm playing the air accordion on my there TikTok and stuff. <laughs> Well, man, everybody yeah. find Jordan online, man. Support what he does. And uh, I think you, you're doing a Facebook Live right here right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so, we're on Facebook Live. So check that as well, too. And, uh, of course, you can go back to UvaldeRadio.net if you're just joining us and hear the full interview in podcast form here in just a few minutes. So that'll be wrapping it up for me, Robert Miguel, live at Broadway 830, Texas Country at the Crossroads. One more time for Jordan. Got it. Y'all make some noise. Going on live here in just moments. This is UvaldeRadio.net. Peace.